Welcome again to another part of the Beginner's Guide. This is part two and we're going to be looking at texture in the room you've just made. In our last tutorial you made the, uh, the basic room. Now we're going to look at just putting some details onto those walls. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the texture application tool, which is over here on the left. Just click on that. It brings up this window. Now this is all the options you need when you're applying some textures. The first thing I'll show you before we dive into that is just regarding your camera view. If you try and use your camera to look around while you're texturing, the tool disappears. So what you need to do is put your mouse over the camera view and press Z. And you'll notice you can move around now. And using your W, A, S and D keys, you can scroll around just like a game and keep the texture tool open. So it's just a useful tip, just press Z to get out of that. So we'll apply some textures to these walls now. So just click on the wall and browse. And what we'll do is we'll type in Crete in the filter for concrete, of course. We'll scroll down so we find something that takes our fancy. Uh, something like this one will do. Double click that. Right, hit apply. If we have a little look, you can see that texture's gone on that wall now, although slightly unaligned. To get a better view of that, just press hide mask. Okay, so the texture should fit the wall perfectly because we made it 120 units. 128 units higher. And using the justify tool we can just press top. There you go, lines it up perfectly for us. So what we can do, just put the mask back on. While that's selected, using your right mouse, just click on the other walls and it will apply that texture with the same properties to the other surfaces. And already we've got our walls done. As quick as that. So we'll click the floor and we'll just choose one for that. I saw one up here. Yeah, that one will do. Again, apply that. Because we've made our room 512 units, you should see that this texture lines up perfectly on the edges for me. And we'll just find a ceiling now. Uh, something like this will do. Probably not even a ceiling texture. But we don't care. Right. So there you go. I've textured the basic room now. Okay, so you've got some other options with that texture tool, which I'll show you on this wall. First is the texture scale. Stretch the texture, make it much bigger there. 25 is the default on these. Texture shift. Use these to move the texture on the face. Hold it down and it goes a bit quicker. Just use justify to put that back where it should be. Also you've got your rotation. Pretty self-explanatory and light map scale. This increases the detail of the shadows on the wall but we have got tutorials on the site regarding that, won't go into that just now. Obviously hide mask which I've just shown you. Treat as one, it's a handy tool. You select these two walls and treat as one. Now if you uh, use your texture shift, you see it moves those two walls together as if they're one face. So that can be useful. So that's pretty much the basics of the texturing really easy to use. Um, obviously go through and find some other textures, there's plenty of textures in there to use, but we're going to stick with these for now. So in the next part what we're going to do is go over putting some entities in the map, give the player something to do, um, and should make your map a little bit more enjoyable.